Hello everyone, J Power here and welcome to another first person fight. This time it is going to be a Protoss against Zerg on the new map, uh, which I don't remember the name of. Something like Acryl, I know Acrylon something. Uh, but it's a new map, I think it's from Hearts, I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't played Hearts at all, so uh, I wouldn't really know. Uh, but yeah, this is my first game I played on it. It is my, uh, I think, third ladder game in this season. Like I said, this is a PvC. Uh, now this time I'm going to go back to the uh, Phoenix build and try to develop that more. Uh, I've done the guide on the Sentry Mortal all in uh, about a week ago, maybe a few days. Uh, so I think, uh, well, I'm, I'm still working on that one, trying to improve it. Uh, but I'm trying to focus a bit more on uh, the Phoenix build, uh, which is a lot more complex, which is something I put a lot more time into. And uh, something which is also a lot more fun to play than uh, just Sentry Mortal all in every game. Uh, so I'm trying to get back in th into that again. Also get back into making first person uh, thoughts more. Uh, I've been slacking on those quite a bit. Uh, mostly because I'm uh, like on TeamSpeak with, uh, with friends and then I can't really uh, record the audio of the game. So I'm just either uh, talking to friends or uh, listening to music. So. I really, I really try to discipline myself to uh, uh, to get some more recordings done. So I see him taking two drones, so uh, I can't really be bothered to try to block his expansion. Rusi is going for a pool first, no gas yet, so uh, pretty standard so far. Uh, what happened right there was my probe, which I was guarding with, uh, was sent to build the cyber core, so uh, a bit of a mistake, but not too big. Uh, but what I was saying before was, uh, yes, I'm spending some more time getting the uh, developing the Phoenix in uh, ranged Phoenix in PVC guide, uh, so pay attention to the. Uh, all people will pay attention to that. I will probably link the thread in the YouTube comments so you can uh, keep an eye on the thread. People are still posting in there, uh, which I appreciate a lot. Uh, and we will also uh, be developing. Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yes, a bio build. I've been playing or with Terran against Zerg uh, quite a bit these days. Uh, which actually quite an old build order from uh, Alive, which he did in uh, a very early uh, team league game in uh, GSTL. Uh, but I'm trying to uh, make different variations of the build so you don't have the same build, which is uh, uh, which has the same outcome every game. Uh, so I'm working that one as well, uh, and also a build f a from from Protoss against Stern, uh, which involves a really quick drop. Uh, to sort of circumvent the bunker uh, that Terran always makes against the one gate expand of the Protoss. So I'm working on a lot of things, also uh, college, so uh, don't expect these things in the very near future because I'm, uh, uh, I'm quite busy. Uh, it will take some weeks for me to finish it. Uh, so we have the map here. Uh, now so something is finally happening. Let's talk more a bit, a bit more about the map. As you can see, the ramp of the natural is really wide. Uh, so I'm probably going to wall off with Stargate in the in the wall, uh, which I don't uh, always like because it can. Well, it probably won't get sniped, but uh, you can. Uh, uh, it can get refueled easily uh, without the Zerg having to sacrifice an Overlord to kill it. So uh, I'm doing some pressure here with the Salad Stalker. I'm losing some health on the Stalker, but not a big deal. I'm going for a three gateway variation this game, and my gas and my Stargate are a bit late. Uh, it feels really weird that you can actually get the Stargate while you're doing the Triad Pressure. Uh, that's why it's so late, it feels kind of weird. Uh, that you can both get the Phoenix and Triad Pressure at the same time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, <coughs> I'm at a loss of words somehow. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to pressure now, Three Gateways are done. I set my Salad Stalker home uh, and I have my three Salad, so I'm going to try to do some damage. Uh, I did not confirm third yet, uh, which I still have to uh, do with a probe. Uh, but, uh, yep, I'm going to do that now. Uh, it seems like I'm getting this queen, yeah, that queen goes down. Uh, so already I feel like the harassment paid off. Most likely uh, he may make some more links now since, uh, yeah, since he cannot really uh, kill it with those uh, few circlings. And at the same time I'm going to try to scout with Salad since he, he most likely has circlings on the way he kinda has to so uh, why not scout a bit, I see the Roach one 
probably only one gas. Uh, I didn't see drones, drones coming from that direction, so I know he's only on one gas. I see he, does, he doesn't have third base yet, at least. Uh, that's what I thought he would take his third base, but uh, the map is new. Uh, I didn't really know much about it, so uh, it, his third was, is actually at the top uh, of his natural, which I will see soon uh, because the creep will come from there. Uh, there, there you can see it. Uh, I don't want to reveal the pylon. I'll just keep it for later. Uh, what I forget to mention, forgot to mention, is that this game I will be focusing a lot on trying to get map control with. Um, uh, on this map, because uh, it feels like a bit like a strange map. There's quite some watchtowers, uh, but there's also a lot of area, important area that isn't covered, uh, covered by the watchtower. So uh, I'm trying to get a lot of map control this game, and uh, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, try to take the game from there. I'm gonna get a cannon here just for safety measure. Uh, you made quite a few circling, so uh, I won't be that far behind making it, uh, making an additional cannon. I uh, can uh, afford it basically. Uh, so I'm getting these rocks are uh, not already. It's kind of late, I guess, uh, and going to wall it off as well uh, to take my third base over there. So I did find my pylon, which was a bit unfortunate, but I still have the watchtower, which is really good for me uh, because I can. That, that's actually one of the more important watchtower, the middle one, middle ones. Uh, so I'm going to uh, hide another pylon out range of the watchtower and take the other one. Uh, in the meantime, I have Phoenix flying in my plus one on the way. It's a bit late, normally you want to have that finished at around uh, 10 minutes so you can uh, do some additional pressure with your plus one and the five gateways that you have. Uh, so right away I see a late layer, or at least no layer, and a Roach Warren, uh, well I saw the Roach Warren before, but uh, no fast layer, no uh, double EVO or something like that. Uh, so I'm getting the Robo uh, to get some Immortals and not the range for the Phoenix. Uh, so at the meantime, getting some more pylons still working on the rocks, getting charged. Uh, my plus one is almost done. Uh, taking some damage on the Phoenix, Phoenix but not uh, nothing big. Uh, since this uh, map has rocks to the third, which I didn't really notice at the beginning, uh, it may be a good idea to wall your natural completely. But uh, it's really hard because it's a really big, uh, a really big ramp. As you can see, with three gateways and a stargate. Uh, I still need a pylon and a salad to wall it off completely, so uh, yeah, I wouldn't really know what you'd wall it off with. I guess the forge, uh, but it's not very early, and uh, you may have trouble uh, with uh, uh, with spilling audience if you have to forge very late. Uh, if you require that in your wall and you make it really late, uh, so my plus one is done. I'm uh, going to pressure with some salads uh, while taking my third base. Uh, Usually if he doesn't have any roaches, uh, this pressure will do a lot because uh, with the phoenix he probably wants to attack straight to infestors. Um, and he didn't scout my pylon or my probe so I'm in a really good situation uh, already. Uh, so yeah, uh, here comes the pressure, some salads, and I see he already, he already has roaches so uh, he was prepared quite well, he wasn't too greedy with, uh, with only circlings taking straight to infestors. I see he is still on four gases, he's missing his gas at his third base, uh, so I'm quite comfortable that he's going for low tech. Uh, I have my first immortal, uh, my robo is still uh, making immortals, charge is done and I'm taking my third, which is a bit late. Uh, I probably want that to get that a bit early, but uh, I've, I invested quite a bit in this uh, salad attack at his third base, which didn't do much of anything, uh, other than confirm that he's basically not being so uh, greedy. Uh, so I'm getting my turret, it seems like he's moving out or not. I wish get the other watchtower as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, at this point I should do some more scouting, I'm not quite sure what he's up to. Uh, I saw his layer timing, uh, which uh, forced me to make some immortals before attacking to Fleet Beacon. But I'm not sure if he's actually going for Investors yet. Uh, so I'm getting some more pylons here, uh, and right now I'm seeing Hydra's um, so my first thought here was I cannot really deck up the storm. I still, well, I do have the uh, Twilight Council and my plus two just finished as you can see. But I really want to get my fleet beacon, uh, the range, and still uh, uh, upgrade my air attacks. Uh, if you may have seen, uh, I didn't really upgrade my air, so my Phoenix are still at plus zero, uh, which is a bit of a mistake. I have three models now that should be enough. I'm um, getting some observers now, 
uh, which is a bit un unnecessary, but uh, you still need detection for burrow and stuff like that, so why not? Uh, getting my guess at my turn, maybe a bit late since I wanted to attack to Storm. I uh, see he's moving out, so I'm uh, sending him some salads in his third base to uh, uh, to try to uh, pull him back. I'm working some more sentries here, which was a pretty big mistake of me. Uh, maybe I'm not sure, because I, I feel like I have enough force foods to sort of uh, hold the choke for a bit, and then uh, maybe I can get some enough uh, get enough salads to uh, to deal with. Uh, to deal with this attack, but he's pulling back to deal with the salad, so that's good for me. Uh, so yeah, the two sentries I made now could have been uh, High Templar, which I'm getting Storm for very soon, so that's why I didn't like uh, making those additional sentries. Uh, with this build you really have to be careful on what you spend your uh, uh, your gas on, because everything is so gas heavy, um, and you don't want to have it wasted into things like sentries if you don't need them. Uh, I think someone is about to drill outside my house, which would be really unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, or it's fireworks, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I have some salads around the map, uh, which I'm going to send in once he uh, moves out with his uh, Roach Hydra. It's quite slow, but he has really decent creep spread so far, uh, so I guess it will be fine. Getting some more gateways and a pretty late storm, honestly, uh, and High Templar. Uh, Right now I think I should have expanded to my fort base at the uh, below my natural uh, but I wasn't really sure where to expand from here because it feels like it's so far away from the third uh, maybe it's better not to wall the natural so you can have easy access and then completely like cannon up the, the third base so I'm trying to get some uh, free circlings here while his roach hydra is behind and my storm isn't quite done uh, which is quite unfortunate because I really needed it for this attack I feel like I think if I haven't gone for the sentries, I think I would have been in a much better situation. Uh, so I'm sending in the salads there to uh, uh, to do some more harassment at his uh, at his third base. Uh, I'm going to attack now with the uh, with my army. Some decent forest food, but uh, there's still some hydras in the front and some investors as you can see. Uh, so I really needed strong for this attack. Uh, I have a lot of sentries which are basically doing nothing but. Uh, but giving me Guardian Shield to uh, to help against uh, uh, against uh, the range attacks, obviously. So I buy some time with the salad attack. Uh, quite high on minerals. Uh, I should have had my gateways earlier. Uh, and uh, right now I'm attacking Infested Tyrants, which is not very good. You should never attack those if you don't have to. Uh, but right now his army is a bit divided. Uh, his roaches are still a bit behind. Uh, so he spends all his uh, Infested Energy on Infested Tyrants and uh, as you can see, you can just uh, walk away from them most of the time. Uh, and if you don't have to fight them, you really shouldn't. Also, I'm not even spending a storm on it, because it's really just not worth it. So I'm getting up this third base and uh, doing some warpings here. Uh, which, which is a bit risky, because uh, uh, there's still an attack, sort of, at my base. Uh, but I think with the... Uh, so as you can see, the effects are on very low energy, and I have my storm ready now. Uh, I think it, uh, it's going to be just fine, as you can see. Uh, so far I think I did pretty well, uh, because I forced him back with the salad attack. So the Infested Tans, he spit down a bit uh, at the choke, weren't really uh, in range of my third base to do any sort of pressure, like uh, forcing me to attack Infested Tans or uh, like rushing the attack, so I was pretty comfortable from there. I didn't really, I didn't have to attack. Basically, I could run away from the first attempts, and oh, someone just came in. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, I didn't really have to fight the first turn, so I felt pretty comfortable in that situation. Uh, let's see. So uh, right now, I'm setting up my fort base, which really should have been underneath my. Uh, only my natural, where the Zerg took his uh, third base. Um, but I'm sad I'm taking this base, I'm not quite sure why. Uh, but yeah, I guess this was a pretty big mistake for me because it's quite vulnerable. But I feel like I'm in a decent position. I took down his fifth base and I pressured quite a bit at his, uh, um, at his third base. Uh, so meanwhile, I'm sort of moving out on the map trying to kill some creep. Um, and getting unfortunately caught in a really bad situa situation with my units. My uh, Templar are quite a bit behind. I have 10 of them, so that's uh, quite a lot of storms I can use. Uh, but I get a lot of my Immortals picked off, so that was pretty bad of me. Um, but yeah, I have Storm now. 
uh, which is surprisingly good against Roaches, not so good against Phoenix. As you can see, they're sort of having my Phoenix overstrung, which is not always the best you can do. Uh, so I do a lot of damage on the Roaches, uh, only losing, I think, about 3 High Templar. Uh, so that's a pretty good trade, and I can uh, just clean up these Roaches with the Phoenix or the Salads. Um, I do see the investors there burrowed. Um, they have some quite some energy actually, and I'm picking those off, so that's always very good for me. Uh, I feel like this game has slide quite a bit on my uh, Phoenix Air attack upgrade because uh, I have this new position with the Cybercore, which he plays at the ramp, uh, which is really good against the uh, slow links trying to get in your main base and just having a wall in general against Zerg is uh, is good. So I'm trying to get Corruptors now, but. Uh, my Phoenix sound is really high and I also have Storm so you can just uh, storm the uh, Corruptors and it's uh, no big deal. I also have Stalker shooting Corruptors and obviously Corruptors don't shoot down so that's also always really good. So I'm taking down his fourth base, uh, his third base excuse me and uh, oh actually I have plus three attack on my Phoenix already so uh, I think my Phoenix operators are actually pretty good then. Uh, and I see he's really expanding to his fifth base but he cannot really take that because I have a pylon there and I think the cannon is also still there uh, so right now I really feel like I have won the game I killed the, a lot of investors I killed a lot of corruptors without losing much of anything I still have a lot of storm left and uh, my fourth base even though it's late it's on the way and uh, I didn't really lose any phoenix really this game against uh, hydras or investors or corruptors even so Feeling in a really comfortable position, as you can see here, I'm killing down. I'm taking down his fifth base, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty much uh, in a position to take the game. I see Squared Aspire, but it doesn't really matter. It's not like Blue Arts are going to do anything. I'm getting a bit sloppy here with my uh, units with my High Templar, uh, but um, I was yeah, I was feeling really sloppy because I knew I had the game one, floating some money, just spending on more pins. As you can see here, losing quite some High Templar without. Uh, Without a reason, but it's mainly because I already know I won. I have, I won the game, and I'm just waiting for him to leave. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, for actually this game, uh, there will be a replay in the description. So if you watch this from YouTube, you can download that from uh, Drop That SC. Uh, because I really want to note, uh, or want you to see actually how much more map control uh, I have over the circle, especially on this map. And what, uh, how blind you can have the Zerg be uh, with the Phoenix and taking watchtowers, being aggressive with uh, with pylons and killing overlords around the map. Uh, so if you're uh, not convinced that uh, this build gives you a lot of map control, you can uh, download the replay and uh, sort of see for your uh, for yourself how much map control I had compared to the <coughs> to the Zerg. Uh, so yeah, I'm still waiting for him to leave the game. Still not taking the base below my natural. Uh, which is a lot of a uh, pretty big mistake. So I was trying to uh, sort of taunt me, I guess, uh, saying he played really bad. Uh, but if you if you watch the replay, uh, if you download the replay, watch the replay yourself, you can see he actually wasn't floating that much. Uh, mainly into the late game, was throwing a lot of minerals, but he wasn't really floating gas. So I think he's just a bit upset because uh, he told me after the game he knew about his strategy and he still uh, lost to it. Uh, so he's just a bit upset, nothing uh, nothing big about that. Uh, so yeah, like I said before, replay will be in the description. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, I will be making more first-person thoughts. Uh, from now on, still busy with college and uh, finishing up other guides. So uh, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, yeah, and hopefully see you in the next video.